people's here. Yeah, just tell, tell us about the piece that you did, that you created. Okay, well, the piece was dedicated to um, the, the, the chief, uh, Master Randy Weston. Mm -hmm. Uh, he passed away um, September 1st, mm -hmm. 2018. Mm -hmm. uh, my mother passed away September 1st, 2017. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to honor uh, both of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I did this piece entitled African Rhythms mm -hmm. to Infinity and Beyond. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just a, uh, a sign of respect for the, the sharing and the giving mm -hmm. uh, that uh, Brother Randy Weston did with his um, music and his uh, his life. Mm -hmm. Now you start out here. We start with, 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 with uh, basically let's say let's call it greenery and rocks and sand mm -hmm. down here. Does that mean anything? What's that? What's yeah. Well, it? basically it's just the elements. You know, um, you know, earth. There would be some water in there, but um, right now I, I didn't I, I, I didn't have the time to in integrate that. But basically just the elements. Mm -hmm. And you have the music that sounds like the music is coming out of the drum. That's right. And so now, actually, you could throw some little, uh, some little wind, wind in there on another <laughs> track, and then, then and a little water sound, waterfall sound. Then you have your water. Anyway, but that's the point. Yeah. You created this. Now, any significance to the colors of the flowers being blue there or well, anything like that? That was Randy's favorite color, mm -hmm. and so I, I just wanted to, um, you know, it to feed off of the heart. I call this the heartbeat of the. Um, the piece uh, mm -hmm. in the middle, which mm -hmm. is Randy and uh, his group, African Rhythm. Uh -huh. That uh, the Rhythm. collage was done by my brother, uh, Master Collage Manza Musa, mm -hmm. and um, and I embellished the, the frame and stuff. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. I noticed you have actual. Uh, some, oh no, it's not actual flow. I thought it was actual fire. But it's uh, you have you have the candles that look like candles, but yes, it's sir. like a stage kind of thing, you know. Right. We do that in the theater, and then you have the other uh, uh, lights here, red, red. Anything with with the thing? You have yellow, yeah. uh, green, red. Any just just a lot of colors. What's just, going on? Just colors, just trying to play off one another. And the butterflies mean anything? Oh, absolutely. The butterflies represent transformation, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, our brother uh, Randy is now an ancestor. So he's transformed from this physical plane mm -hmm. to the spiritual plane. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's up, us, it's, 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 it's our responsibility, us who uh, remain, mm -hmm. to uh, 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 continue the legacy mm -hmm. and to pass it on to the next generation. Well, let me ask you just one more question before we leave you, like this. Mm -hmm. you know, come, uh, let, let, me, let me move you over into the light so we can get this a little bit better, you know. Now you have. You sounds like you. Well, we know that you have a deep, a deep, deep consciousness. With not only with the arts, but with, uh, I guess we call it lineage back to Africa. Where, where did that come from? Where does that come well, from? That comes from my DNA, mm. your DNA, mm -hmm. our DNA. You know, uh, you can take a man out of Africa, but you can't take Africa out of the man. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, in truth and in fact, it's in his DNA, and mm -hmm. so it's my, uh, uh, my, my quest to uh, reconnect. To prove that uh, uh, you can you can't uh, destroy what you didn't create, and the whole attempt to destroy the African uh, was another failed attempt because we belong to the Creator. Mm -hmm. you know, the Creator has a master plan. Somebody wrote that. <laughs> Taj Mahal. Uh, okay, no, no, um, no. Was it was it Taj? Uh, somebody like that. No, uh, tell Pharaoh me about Sanders. Pharaoh Sanders. Yes, I'm, I'm messing okay. up here. Um, Tell me about your hat, though. Tell about creation. No. Well, my, my brother who made this for me, he makes crowns. Mm -hmm. He says, because that's who we are. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he, um, he his name is Litna Gungun. He helped me embellish the, uh, the altar piece, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, what he does is he makes crowns. And, yeah, I mean, he lives his art, you know. He's mm -hmm. a uh, living uh, work of art. Mm -hmm. So uh, we come together to honor the spirit of the Maroons. You know, those Africans, Jamaica? absolutely those Africans who um, whose spirit doesn't rest until till till there's been balance restored. Okay, that would be not only Jamaica but a whole lot of other places all over the world. Like that. But, but what intrigues me about this particular crown, it doesn't seem like first I thought it was some place like uh, like Nepal or something like that. But you, yeah. but but it, but but you're saying it comes from a lot of different places. It does, just like well, we we are in all a lot of different places. Mm -hmm. So originally uh, the piece was from Peru. But then when my brother put his touch on it, it becomes an uh, uh, African-Peruvian piece, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, 
that's that's the blessing. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to thank you for this little bit of time. Any, any, give me, give me a projection. Let's, let's, do, let's, do, let's be in the continuum here. Yes, sir. You know that we know where we came from. Mm -hmm. Where are we going? Where we going? We going to infinity and beyond. You know, uh, we, we, we gonna have to leave these bodies behind. So we are gonna have to become pure spirit again. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And uh, once we do that, we go to a, another, another uh, uh, realm. Mm -hmm. You know, not who we are, but what we happen to be. In my, in my uh, journey, I, I've come to find out we happen to be spirit. Mm -hmm. And spirit uh, was here, be, was here uh, uh, and will be here and after we leave. You mm -hmm. understand? Now, Shamba, one more, one more thing. Uh, I assume that Shamba is not your, your name that your mama and your daddy set you down with. Uh, what does Shamba mean? Shamba is the name God gave me, mm -hmm. which means uh, in Swahili, uh, a fertile piece of land, uh, a cultivated field. That God made to prosper. Mm -hmm. He said, "One who does a thing without finishing it is like one who does it not." So I have a, I have a responsibility to finish what I start. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much. <laughs>